Hello everyone. We're back in here with the uh, Oldsmobile again today. And uh, I'm cleaning up my connecting rods and uh, setting my bearings in. Uh, getting ready to put my pistons in the engine. And a uh, quick, quick little thing I wanted to show you. Okay. Uh, it's about these uh, connecting rod caps and the connecting rods themselves. Just wanted to show you a little thing to watch for whenever you're cleaning them up. So your bearing sits in there and it's cap and another one sits in the rod. Just like that. Now I'm going to try and give you a little light here so you can see this. But uh, you see this line going up the side? Now if you look over here, see there's a line going up the side as well. See them both? Well, whenever you uh, pull this liner out, see that dark sludge in there? If you take your fingernail, you can feel a small ridge. Now if you don't remove that, your bearings will end up like that and get worn on the sides because your bearing is riding on this uh, sludge right here instead of your actual cap. So all you're going to do to clean that up is just take some cleaner. Uh, this is just cheap cleaner I get at the Dollar Tree. Spray it in the cap a little bit. Take some Scotch-Brite and just uh, this light keeps moving on me. Just go ahead and wipe in there. Wipe it out, clean it real good. See how it's starting to disappear? Just keep doing that till that sludge is uh, gone completely. And then uh, go ahead and put your new liner in. Um, also another thing to check for is the flatness on your cap surfaces and also on your rod surface here too. Just want to make sure there's no burr sticking up or anything that would keep the bearing from seating properly. But uh, just a quick little video I wanted to show you. Something to watch for whenever you're putting this or any other engine back together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my rings on and install this into the engine. Thanks for watching.